Honduras' ousted leader is now in Managua, the capital of Nicaragua. At the airport, his welcoming committee included the presidents of Venezuela, Nicaragua and Ecuador. The message from the leftist political bloc, they are rallying behind the overthrown president. Hugo Chavez was one of the first in line to lend his support. We will do everything that must be done from a diplomatic, political, social and moral point of view. the government of Honduras, of President Zelaya, be returned. The Honduran people's human rights and lives be respected to avoid a tragedy. Within hours of Zelaya's ouster, Chávez planned an emergency summit in Nicaragua. Other leaders followed suit and condemned the coup. This will not go unpunished. This time we will not allow this to happen. In the name of Ecuador, in the name of Latin America, we demand the immediate return of democracy to Honduras. We agree with the Ecuadorian president's words in this fight for respect of the people's voice, which is being stepped on at this moment in Honduras. In Honduras itself, the interim president justified the army's actions and Zelaya's flight into exile. The ousted president had attempted to secure a second term through means of a referendum. This had been ruled illegal by Honduras's top court. The constitutional order was being broken. The laws of our country were being broken permanently. We didn't do anything that might affect a person who was elected by the people. The coup in Honduras was Central America's first since the Cold War.